Hey, what's up? And welcome back to our IKEA build. In part one, I showed you how to build all the exterior of this store. And in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to build all the interior. So without wasting any more time, let's continue with the build. So first up, let's get our car park all lit up here. So I've just got some glowstone. And starting in this corner here, firstly, I'm going to go across five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth block, just going to turn around and then go across eight, another five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And on that sixth block, just going to destroy that and replace this with some glowstone. And from this point here, I'm just going to go across another five blocks. Then on the sixth block, just going to play, replace that with some more glowstone. So just going to repeat this till I get to the end. So just keeping a five block gap, going all the way to the end of the wall. Just till I meet up here. And then I'm just going to repeat this row of lights another four times. So just starting from this point, I'm going to go across another five. On the sixth block, replace that with glowstone. And then just repeat what we've done in the first row. So just kind of using the first row as a guide. And coming back, I'm just going to do another gap of five. Then on the sixth block, place a glowstone. So yeah, just repeating this until I get to the end of the wall here. So I can do it until up this point. And then just working our way all the way to the back wall. And then once this whole ceiling has been filled up with all this glowstone here, with some iron trap doors, I'm just going to place one trap door under each glowstone block. Alright, so four escalators here. So starting from this block, I'm going to go across another four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm just going to go down one, one bit and then I'm just going to place one white concrete just there. And then I'm just going to extend this out so it's six long in total. And then I'm just going to leave a gap of three and then mirror what I've done on that side as well. And then just on top of each of these, from the third block in, I'm just going to place another row of six going to the left. Just going to do that on the other side as well. And I'm just going to repeat this pattern going all the way up five more times. So it should... Just so that this meets up with this little point just there. And then once this first thing's been built up, I'm just going to mirror what I've done on this side on this side as well. And now I've just realised we need to bring this wall one more forward. So all I'm going to do from this point, I'm just going to build this across. And then let's just quickly destroy this little bit. And then we can get rid of these two points just on the end there. So just at the start, so just at the start of the escalator here, I'm just going to destroy these three blocks. And then just going to replace these blocks at the bottom with some black wall and then on top I'm just going to add three iron trap doors and then with some more black wall I'm just going to place three this way and then three the other way so just a two by three square of black wall just there and then I'm just going to place nine wall just in this little area here so just a three by three black square there and then I'm just going to repeat that going all the way up to the top And once I've reached the top, I'm just going to destroy these three white concrete there and then just place three iron trap doors just at the top there. And then I'm just going to repeat this escalator design 
but we're going to do it in the other direction. So just starting from this point here, if I just go all the way down, so we get to this block just directly underneath, and then I'm just going to go across one more block and then another one to go across two blocks. I'm just going to place one white concrete just there. So it should be aligned with the end of the escalator just there. And it should be two blocks across on that. And then I'm just going to go across three blocks and then place another white concrete. And then again, I'm going to do our zigzag pattern all the way to the top. So I'm going to go across six blocks. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I get to the top. And then again, just repeating it on the other side. And then going to the start of this escalator again, just assuring these first three blocks, replacing the underneath with some that wall, and then Three more iron trap doors just there. And then just six black walls just at the start here. And then again, just a three by three square of black wall. I'm repeating that all the way to the top. And then once we reach the top, just gonna destroy these three and just add another three trap doors. And then with some black stained glass panes here, starting from my first escalator, I'm just gonna place three either side. I'm just going to keep doing that until I reach the top. And then I'm just going to repeat what I've done on this escalator on this one as well. And then four art banister area. So I've got some more of this glass. And from this point, I'm just going to build these going all the way to the edge of the escalator there. And then I'm just going to follow this going all the way around. until I meet with this escalator just there and then just run the end. The next time is add some lighting so just from this block here I'm just going to follow this up to the ceiling I'm just going to go up by three and on the fourth block just going to destroy that and replace that with some glowstone. And I'm just going to go across five and then replace that with glowstone as well and I'm just going to repeat this until I get to the end of the wall just there. And the next up, just turning around, I'm just going to go across another five, place that with some glowstone. And then I'm just going to keep this gap of five and just kind of follow what we just done before. And then again, just going across another five, placing that with some more glowstone and just keeping these five apart. And I'm just going to keep repeating this until I get to the end of the wall just there. So just making sure that each glowstone block is five blocks apart. And then once I've reached the end of the wall here, I'm just going to carry this on, making sure I'm leaving five blocks again. Now all our glowstone is placed, we can now add some trapdoors underneath each block. And then just underneath the escalator, just to lighten things up a bit, I'm just going to add two torches just underneath, just there, just on each side. So next up, let's start our tools. So just from this block here, I'm just going to go across three. Then on this fourth block, I'm just going to place one black wall just there. And I'm just going to go across another five blocks. And then just on the other side, I'm going to place one blue concrete on the right there, leaving a gap of one, and let's add another four just there and I'm just going to place signs going all the way around the black wall here just for a little conveyor belt there 
And then I'm just going to place one stone pressure plate just here and then a trap door. Make sure I'm basing the pressure plate while I place this. Just one trap door just there. Then un and I'm just going to dig down to then underneath this to block the trap doors on. So I can place a lever and that will flip that up. And then just going to add one painting on there. And then on this point, I'm going to place two birch fences there. And on top of that, I'm going to add one yellow wall just there. And then I'm just going to and then I'm just going to repeat this cashier design four more times. So again, I'm just going to keep a gap of three between each of them. Then again, I'm going to place one black wall, and lengthen that so it's six in total, and one blue there, leaving a gap, and then another three just there. And I'm going to add all my signs going all the way around. And then let's add our pressure plate. Then our trap door. And again, let's flip that so it's on. And then with the painting. And then with our fences, again, let's add another two on the end there. And then just add some yellow wall just on top of that. So just going to repeat that three more times, making sure each of them have a gap of three in between. And that will give us our checkout area here. So next up, let's add some shelves for our warehouse area here. So just from this fourth till, just from this point, I'm going to go across another six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the seventh block, I'm just going to place one black concrete. And then one more just next to that. And I'm just going to leave a gap of five, place another two, another gap of five, place another two. A final gap of five and then just two more just on the end there and then i'm just going to build all these points up so they're four high in total and then from this point i'm going to go across another five blocks so one two three four five and then on that sixth block this place one more black concrete and then another one and then i'm going to go across five so just spacing them out five blocks in between again. And then again, leaving a gap of five blocks and then just placing another two. And then just mirroring what we've done on this side. So just repeating what we've done on this side as well. And then again, from this point, making sure we have a gap of five. And just on the end there, let's place one more. And then just to line it up with the rest of the blocks that we've just placed. And then we're just going to build all of these up so they're four high in total. And then from this point, I'm going to make sure there's another gap of five. And just let's build another four of that going up. Another gap of five. Another four up. And then one final gap of five. Then four more black concrete up just there. And then next up with some iron trap doors. So firstly, just on the first block, I'm just going to place... Loads of trap doors going all the way to the end there. And then moving up to the third block, just on top of that, just place some more. And then I'm just going to repeat this on all the other shelves apart from all the back ones. I'm just going to do a similar thing on these shelves, but it's just going to be a singular shelf rather than two. So now all of our shelves are built, we can now fill them up with loads of different boxes. So I've just got three types of wood planks here. I've got some oak, some birch, and some spruce. So there's no specific way of doing this. I'm just going to scatter out all these different blocks just on each of these shelves here. So for example, on the first shelf, I might just add some birch randomly. So I'm just going to add randomly some birch just on each of these shelves.
And then once the birch has been placed, I can repeat this with the oak and the spruce planks. First, it's just going with the oak. And then finally with all of our spruce planks. And that'll give us all of our boxes for our warehouse just there. Now with our bottom floor done, let's move up to the top. So before I do any decoration on the top, I am going to need to add the floor here. And because there's a lot of different departments on this top floor, I'm going to use the floor as kind of like a plan for where we're going to put all of our stuff. So it's just going to divide all the different areas. And then finally, just for a bit of extra decoration, just in between each aisle, I'm going to add just a little plant just by adding one cauldron and some leaves just on top. Might make a four high. So just doing that in between each shelf. Might just add one next to the door as well. So to start off this floor, so I've got some gray concrete and just from this block I'm gonna place one. And then I'm just going to go all the way across, just still here, then just following this kind of banister going all the way around, just to a meet up, just there. And then just going across four blocks, let's place another one. I'm just going to go all the way across, just until I get here, and I'm just going to go across another five blocks. And from this point, again, I'm just going to build this going all the way across until I line up with the other grey concrete. So just until here. And then I'm just going to place four light grey just in the middle, just there. And I'm just going to fill in this entire area with all of this light grey concrete. And then I've got some birch planks saying just starting from this point, I'm going to go across 25 blocks. I'm just going to include this block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then just one up from this 25 blocks, just going to place one birch plank there. And I'm just going to build this all the way across until I meet with the end wall. Just there, and I'm just going to thin this entire area with all these birch planks. And then next up with some more grey concrete, I'm just going to place one just here, and then going across to meet up with the wall just there. And then just in this area here, I'm going to fill this up with some polish and a site. For me, I'm going to add another four like grey concrete. And then with some more grey concrete, from this point, I'm just going to build this all the way across. Just until I meet with the end, just there. And then next up, with some more light grey concrete, from this point, I'm going to go across four blocks. Then I'm going to place one more grey concrete just there. Then I'm just going to go across another six blocks. And then just going around, I'm just going to place all this grey concrete going all the way just until I'm about five blocks away from the wall just there 
And then from this point, I'm just going to leave a gap of four. I'm going to place one more grey concrete just there. I'm just going to build this going all the way along. Just until I'm five blocks away from this point here. So that's one more. So yeah, so five blocks away just from this point here. Then I'm just going to place two more blocks coming out, out from that one. And then just some more blocks just until I line up with that point here. And then I'm just going to extend this block going all the way to the other end there. Just until I'm four blocks away from the wall. And then I'm going to extend this point as well. Just so I'm five in from this point here. So yeah, so five. So, so there should be five blocks just there. And then when I get to the fifth block, actually the line with just this point just there. And then from that point, I'm just going to build this until I line with that block there just to curve around. And then just next to this block here, I'm going to go across another 11 blocks. And then just going around, I'm just going to go across another nine blocks. And then I'm going to go, and then from this point, I'm going to go across another seven. And then I'm just going to leave a gap of six and then just one more great concrete just on the end there. And then I'm just going to place two on the right hand side, just there. And then I'm just going to place two more blocks next to that one. And then just two more going out just there. And then just in like a C shape, I'm going to add another two just there. And then from this point, I'm going to go across another 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, just there. And then I'm going to go across another 10 blocks. And then from this point, I'm just going to build this going all the way across. Just until I line up with that point there. And then I'm just going to place three blocks in between. Just there. And then from this point, I'm just going to go across another four blocks. Just to line up with that point there. And then I'm just going to go across another two. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way across just to meet this point here. You actually don't need the two blocks there, so I just got rid of them. So next up, let's start marking out all of the walls which we're going to build up. So firstly, just at this little section here, I'm, I've got some white concrete. And I'm just going to place six just going along just there. And then just moving across, I'm just going to place some more of this concrete just going all the way to the end. And then just turning around, I'm just going to go all the way across and then just across this way as well just to fill that little bit in as well. And then from this point, I'm just going to build this across just until I meet with the end of the wall just here. And then I'm just going to go over this little path section. And then I'm just going to place another six blocks just meeting up to the end just there. And then just from this point, I'm going to build this going all the way across just till I get to this point here. And then just one on the right side just there. And then from that point, and place some more white concrete and then build this up to this point here. And then once I get to the end, I'm just going to place another two just coming out just at that point there. And then starting from this point, if I just go all the way across, I'm just going to place one more white concrete there and then build that just to the wall. And then just from this point here, I'm going to go forward and then I'm going to place one more white concrete and again just build that to meet the end there as well. And then coming to the other side, just from this point, I'm just going to go up and then again, just build that to the wall. And then coming to this little section here as well, I'm just going to place another four just there. And then just two in this little section here as well. And then just from this point here, I'm just going to replace all this polished andesite with some white concrete. So just this first row just there. That'll be the back wall for our little kitchen area later on. So at the minute, your markings should look something like this. They do look a little bit complicated at the minute. But once we start building all the walls up, they should make a little bit more sense. Also, when we got the floor in as well. So next up, let's add some more of our normal grey floor here. So firstly, 
just on this point, I'm going to place four going across. Let's just build this going all the way up. And then I'm just going to fill all this area up to that wall with some more of this light grey concrete. And once that's done, I'm just going to place four more like clay concrete just there. And again, fill this up all the way to the top down there. And then once I got to the end here, I'm just going to turn right and then place another four and then again build this up to that end there. We're kind of just following the pathway that people will walk through as they explore the Ikea. And then again, rotating around again, placing another four and just building it up until you reach up with this wall just there. And then I'm just going to fill in this whole area, this little path bit and this area all with the rest of this light grey concrete. So now we've got our walkway all marked off and now I'm going to add some blue wool just to mark out where all the like kind of like the coloured walls are going to go. Firstly just in this first section here I'm going to place some blue wool just at the back there and again some more blue wool at the back just here as well. And then moving next to it let's place some more just on the back there and then just going around just to meet just there. Then let's place some more at the back here as well, just there, and then again more at the back in this section and going around. So as you can see, this is just going to be where all like the coloured walls are going to go, and then one more just here. And then we've got to correct a little thing here. I'm just going to place some grey concrete just here, and then I'm just going to destroy this little bit. And then fill that with some light grey. Oh, and I've actually just made another mistake. Oh, so what I'm going to do, let's just destroy this again. And just replace that with some more light grey. No, more grey concrete just there. And then we'll replace this bit with some blue wool at the back there. And then moving to this area here, I'm going to place some more blue wool just at the back, just there. And then place it in this little gap here as well. And then from this point, let's place some more here. And then finally, let's fill this gap with some as well. Okay, so I think that marks out all of our rooms quite nicely. And if we just mark out our little kitchen area here, I'm just going to place two white concrete just there. Leaving a gap or two and then place another two just on the end there. And just on the end there, I'm just going to place another two white just there. So next up, let's fill in some of the floors for all of our different areas here. So for example, for these two kitchen areas, on the left hand side, I'm first going to fill this first area with some birch planks. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to fill this with some polished andesite. And then moving to this room here, I'm going to fill this one. This is going to be our dining area with some grey wool. And 
And then for our back area, this is going to be our living room. We're going to add some light grey wall to this one. And then after this, we're going to go back to our birch planks and fill this area in with all of them. And then for our little bathroom area, we're going to fill this with some blocks of quartz. And then just and then just this little area here, let's fill that with some more birch planks. So now we've got all of our foundations done, we can now start building some of the proper interior. So next up, let's start our canteen area here. So firstly, I'm just gonna add some tables. So if we go to the right hand side here, from this point, I'm gonna go across one and then another one. And on this third block, I'm gonna place one yellow wall and then one just behind that. The next to that, I'm gonna add two quartz slabs leaving a gap and then another two and then some yellow wool just there and then for our table I'm just going to add two black stained glass panes and then two grey carpet just on top of that and then I'm just going to repeat this design again so again two quartz slabs black stained glass with some grey carpet two more quartz slabs there and then some yellow wool and then repeating it one more time at this end here then once I place these two yellow wall I'm gonna place another two just there then rotating around let's do the same design so two slabs and then some more yellow wall on the end there and again our table so I'm just gonna repeat this design four more times across this way and then starting from this second table here on this point I'm going to go across three so there should be a gap of three I'm just going to place two yellow wool there even a gap of three and then two more then I'm going to leave a gap of three between these then I'm going to place another two on the end there and with this first stock I'm going to add two more quartz slabs some more here as well then again just our flat stained glass panes and some grey wool let's do these on each table just there and then I'm going to repeat these two table designs, three more blocks across. So leaving a gap of three again. And again, just repeating what we've done on this side. This side as well. And that will give us some nice table designs. Now just for a little bit of extra detail, I've got a cauldron here. And then just on the edge of this seat here, I'm going to place one cauldron and then three oak leaves there for a nice plant. And I'm going to do that on this side as well. So again, leaving a gap, one cauldron, and then three oak leaves just there. And now for our canteen area here. So I've got some white concrete, and just where we've marked out here, I'm going to build this up so it's five high in total. Then I'm going to do this with a three box next to it as well. And then just place two just there. And then moving to this back wall, I'm going to build this all the way up. So all the section is going to be built up so it's five high as well. And then from this point here, I'm going to build this all the way across just to the end here. And then just building this down to the bottom there and then just thicken, thicken in this by one more just there and then thickening it at the top as well and then for our little canteen sign here I'm just going to destroy these four blocks just in the middle there so there should be six blocks either side and then I've got some yellow white and blue wall here and so first I'm going to place some blue wall there then some white then a yellow and some more white 
Then I'm just going to extend these up by one more on the top this way. And then I'm just going to bring these out as well. So now let's add our food serving section here. So just going to the left with some grey concrete, I'm going to place three just there. Leaving another gap of three. And then placing the rest of these all the way just to the end there. And before I go further, we can actually replace some of this polished andesite with these birch planks. Just there. And then in this gap of three, I'm going to add three cauldrons just there. And then coming to the left with some white stained glass panes, I'm going to place two just on this side here. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to go across five blocks. And on the sixth block, I'm going to place one and another one. And then with some birch fences, I'm going to place one just either side of these cauldrons just there. And then on top of each fence post, I'm going to add one quartz slab. And then in between, I'm just going to add some yellow wool. And then moving to the right with some white carpet, I'm going to place one there, leave a gap, another one, leave a gap, and then finally one more on the end there. And then with some stone stairs, I'm just going to place two of these in the middle of here for some cashiers. And then with some burnt signs, I'm just going to place one just there. And I'm just going to place these all the way along just to our reach just here. And then with some white frames, I'm just going to place three here for our menu board. And now let's add our food items. So I've got some custom heads here, which we are going to use. And if you don't know how to get these custom heads, I will show you now. If you head over to minecraftheads.com, there are loads of custom heads to choose from. So you just type in what you're searching for. And as you can see, there will be loads of heads you can choose from here. And if you choose your one and then copy one of the commands for the correct version, paste it in a command block and that will give you your head happy days all the links to each of the heads will be in the description so let's add all of our food items here so first thing, i'm just going to place these on each cauldron so i got a brown block there for the famous ikea meatballs and the next we got some lovely chips there and then we've got some baked beans as well and i'm just going to place these in these menu boards as well just there and now let's get on to the main kitchen here. So I've got some iron blocks. I'm just going to double up this wall with all of these. Just at the back here. Just to start our kitchen design. Just there. So firstly, in this corner here, I'm going to place six grey wool just there for our fridge here. And then I'm going to place two buttons there. Just like that. And then next up, with some grey concrete. I'm going to place two next to the fridge there and then two on top. And then some white carpet just there. And the next up, I'm just going to destroy these two blocks and place two armor stands. And then with our fries custom heads, I'm going to place two here. This is going to be for our deep fryer design. So for that, I'm just going to add two gorgons just on top. And then two pistons coming straight down. And then let's add one redstone block there. Bam. That'll give us our nice fryer design there. And then just on top of that, I'm going to add two stone brick stairs just there. And then I'm going to place two grey concrete next to these cauldrons. And then two on top. And then let's add some more carpet just there as well. And then I'm going to place two more grey concrete. Then on top of them, I'm going to add some iron trap doors just there. Then on top of these, I'm going to add two more stone brick stairs. And then I'm going to place one more concrete just there and then some carpet on top here and then i've got four furnaces just gonna place four just here and then on top of them i'm gonna add four item frames and then five black stained glass just in front of these then with the gray concrete i'm just gonna add four just on the top there two more next to it and then finally two white carpet just on top there and then for a little tile design i've got some glazed terracotta I'm just going to place this little section just in between and all the way up to there. And that'll give us our nice little kitchen design just there. And then just for the roof, I'm, I'm going to get some stone slabs. And I'm just going to fill this whole top area in.
And just for a little bit of extra light in the kitchen, I'm just going to have a few torches just up here. For a doorway here, I'm going to add four black stained glass. Then I'm going to add two iron doors just there. And then if you come inside, I'm just going to add one lever just here to open it. And that is our canteen area all complete. So next up, I've got some white concrete here. And then I'm just going to build up all of these walls that we marked out earlier on. So anything that's white concrete, I'm going to build up so it's five high in total. Once all the bills are built up, they should look something like this. Let's do our first kitchen showroom here. So firstly, I've got some grey walls, some grey concrete and some grey concrete powder here. So firstly, on the left, I'm going to add three grey wall and then two grey concrete there. Then let's add three more grey concrete powder and then two more wall. And next, let's add a big bit of grey concrete and then some powder at the top there. Then I'm going to add three grey wall. You know, two grey wall there. One concrete powder and then some more wall and then some more wall just there. I'm going to add three more grey concrete and then one powder and one wall. So, so I'm just doing like lines to kind of just make a cool wallpaper pattern kind of thing. So then if we do one more grey concrete powder and just do three grey wall, one more powder, you know, do four grey wall and then just one grey concrete just there. Then just do one more wall there. No, then just do one more wall there. A few more concrete. And then one more wall on the end. And then finally just do a bit of a bit more powder. Then two more wall. And then one concrete just there. And the next up, so for a little fridge design, I'm just gonna add six blue wall just there. And then I'm just gonna add two buttons just in front of that. And next up with some bone blocks. Firstly, I'm gonna add two blocks facing sideboards just there. Then I'm going to add two furnaces in the middle. Then I'm going to add two more bone blocks just there. And then going this way, I'm going to add three more but facing up this time. And then on top of these furnaces, I'm going to add two iron trap doors. And then I'm going to add some light grey carpets on top of all of these bone blocks. Apart from these two. And then so I'm going to add one iron frame just there. Then a cookie just inside of that. And then just a push plate there for a little cookie on the plate. And then I'm just going to add one chest there, an item frame and a cookie just on top. And then one white carpet just on top there. And the next thing, I've got some quartz stairs. I'm just going to place one either side on top of the furnace just there. And then with the stone brick walls, I'm going to place four just on top of that. And then in the middle for a little count on top, I'm just going to add four bone blocks. Just there and on top I'm gonna add some grey carpet and then I'm gonna add two quartz slabs for these item frames just to rotate them round and then with a grey banner shift and just add two just there. And that is our first kitchen all done. Okay next up for our second kitchen area here so just on the back wall I'm gonna get some white wall to fill the back wall with all of that. And then next, with some grey concrete, first thing I'm going to place two just in the corner there. Even a gap of two, I'm going to place another four and then just another two just there. And here I'm going to do the same oven design i done over there. So again, two furnaces and just two iron frames over that. With some quartz slabs turned around. And then two banners just in front of that. Then on top of that, I'm going to add two iron trap doors. And then with some quartz stairs, I'm going to add two of these just on top. And then again with a stone brick walls, just two of them on top, just like that. And then with a burnt slab, I'm going to add one little one there for a shelf. Leaving a gap of two, and then I'm going to add three in the corner, just there. Then with some white wall, I'm going to add six, just there. And then just two stone buttons there as well. And then with a light grey carpet, I'm going to place these on top of all the grey concrete just there. And then with some more of this grey concrete from this point, 
just leave a gap of two and then just place six just there and then and then just place six carpet on top just like that and then with some burnt stairs add two of these here as well and then just on the wall here let's add two paintings so firstly i'm just gonna add a single painting just here just so this around some blocks around that painting for a singular one to get the fruit basket one just there i'm gonna leave a gap of one and let's add another painting there as well just like that and then let's add a cool little band design just here as well so let's get our loom out and let's create this banner so just gonna add one white banner there firstly with some yellow dye i'm just gonna create the striped one there and then with some orange dye let's just add a triangle just there that'll give us a cool little design and let's just hang that in our kitchen just there and that is our second kitchen all done and next up for our little dining area here so firstly just on top of all this blue wall i've got some lime terracotta and i'm just gonna place it all on top of there and let's build this all the way up And then this also builds up the wall on the back of this side as well. And then for our first table design, I've got some quartz stairs here. And firstly, on this block here, I'm going to place one stair just there. Then I'm going to place another one here, one more there, and then another one. And then in the middle, let's add four white stained glass panes there. And then on top of that, let's add four white carpet just there. And then moving to the other end, let's add one oak slab there. Leave a gap of two and one more just there. And with some oak stairs, I'm going to place just two on this side upside down. And another two on this side as well. And, and then in the middle, let's add another two slabs just there. And on top, let's add some brown carpet. And then let's add two oak doors behind these slabs for another table just there. And then just behind me, some sort of picture design here. So firstly, I've got loads of different colors of wall here. First, just on this block here, I'm going to add one light blue wall just there. I'm going to add one next to that and then one white on the end. And on the other side, let's add two yellow there. And with some blue wool, I'm going to place four just on top there and then another four. And then just two more white on the side there. And that'll give us a cool little fancy painting design. Next up for our living room area here. So I've got some light blue terracotta. And let's just place all of this going all the way around. And then let's just build this up like in an L shape going all the way around. And then firstly, with some oak stairs. Just on this block here, I'm going to place one stair in, in that direction. Then I'm going to add another stair in the other direction just on top of that. And then another stair in the, in the other direction. And then finally one stab on top for a cool little shelf design just there. And then for our first sofa, on this block I'm going to place one yellow wall and then another one in front of it. And then just one yellow wall there and another two just to go around there. And then one quartz slab in the middle. I'm going to leave a gap and then with some green wool, I'm going to place two wool just there. And then I'm going to go across another three green wool and then just one on the end just there. And then two quartz slabs just in the middle there. And then for a cool little custom painting with some more wool, first let's add two white wool there, one grey wool, one grey wool in the middle, and then two grey just on the end there. And then for our lamp design, on this block, let's place two end rods just there and then just one. And then, just, and then just one blue ball just there. Firstly, with some stone bricks, just going to add two here. And on top of these, I'm going to add two more stone brick slabs. And then I'm just going to add two stone brick stairs, just either side like that. Oh, cool little sofa design just there. And then on top of that, I'm just going to add two quartz slabs. And then I'm going to add one flower pot on there with a blue flower in it just there. And then let's add our white sofa design as well. So just leaving after one, I'm going to place two quartz and then two quartz stairs just there and then two slabs on top. I'm going to add an oak shelf just on top of that as well. 
And the next up for our bedroom area here. So I've got some signed terracotta. And these are going to be our coloured walls for this area. So again, just placing this on top of the blue markers that we marked out. And then for our first bed design, firstly, with a quartz block. Just on this block, I'm going to place two quartz just there. And then on top, and then on top of that, I'm going to add two quartz slabs. And then we're going to add three slabs just coming out of this one. And then I'm going to add four blue carpet just there. And then some snow just there. I should just realize that needs to be quartz blocks. It's had two quartz blocks just there. And next, I've got some green concrete here. I'm just going to leave it a gap of one. Then I'm going to go across by four in total and then up by another one. And then I'm just going to add four more white wool just here. And then I'm going to add eight more brown wool just there for a nice little bed. Then for a bunk bed design on the end here. Firstly, I'm going to place two white wool just in the corner there. And then, and then they're going to add six more purple wool just there. Then I'm going to add three ladders just on the side. And then I'm just going to add some more white wool just there. And then again, some purple. Just duplicating what we've done there, leaving a the gap. And then with some oak trap doors. Firstly, firstly, I'm just going to place these all along here first on the top bit. Then if I shift, I can add some more and then flip these up to give us our bunk bed frame. Do the top bit there. And this also, and I'm also going to add these trap doors down here as well. And that will give us our nice little bump bed design here. And then if we come to the other side, we're going to add some other bits and bobs. So we've got some quartz slabs and four shelf. Let's add four rows of two just there for a nice little modern shelf. And for a wardrobe, we've got some white wool. Let's just place six there. And then let's add two buttons just there. Let's leave a gap for one. And then with some blue wool, I'm going to add another six just there with some more stone buttons just there. I'm just going to add another cool little shelf just on the end there. Okay, and for our bathroom just here, so i got some grey concrete. And again, just using our blue marker as a guide, I'm going to go around in the corner just here. And then again, building that up all the way around. And firstly, for a little jacuzzi design here, got some quartz stairs i'm just going to place these in a ring going all the way around just in the corner there then in the middle i'm just going to add one quartz slab just like that and next to it for a little bath design i'm going to add two stairs just there and two more there and two more just inwards just there and then and then again some slabs and then just for a few cool little towel things so what i'm going to do i'm going to add three blue just there Underneath, I'm going to add three white. Underneath them, I'm going to add three light blue just there. And for a little sink design, I'm just going to add two light grey concrete there with a cauldron in the middle. Then I'm going to add a burt sign just in front of that. And I'm also going to add a chip wire hook just on top. And then for a little mirror design, we're going to need our loom again for a, another banner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my light grey banner there. And some black dye in there. And then, and then I'm just going to add this. I'm going to add the one that goes all the way around. And this is place that there for a cool mirror design. And then I've got some broken quartz. I'm just going to place two just here. I'm going to add an upside down stair just facing outwards. And then an iron trap door there for a little toilet basin just there. And then for a shelf in the corner, I'm just going to place four quartz slabs halfway each other just like that okay so for our first little area here so i've got some white wall and then i'm just gonna build this back wall up just here and then firstly i've got some end rods i'm just gonna place one there leave a gap another one leave a gap and then one more on the end there I'm just gonna, and I'm just going to add two on top of these. So a little lampshade design. And on top, I'm going to add different colours of wall. So I'm going to add some blue wall there, some purple wall there, and some yellow wall just there. 
And the four shelf, we've got some smooth stone slabs. Just going to leave a gap. And then on this block, I'm going to place four just there. Then for some smaller lamps, I'm going to add two stairs either side. And then some grey wall on top there. Orange wall just there. And the next up for some coloured towel kind of thing. So, firstly, on this block, I'm going to place... I'm going to place three grey banners just like that. The next to that, I'm going to add three light grey. I'm also going to add three lime. Let's add three yellow. Let's also add three red. Let's add three light blue. And just three blue, just like this. And the next up, with some smooth stone slabs, I'm just going to leave a gap. I'm just going to place six going along here. And then followed by another five. And then I'm just gonna random and then and then just on the third block I'm gonna place another lot just on top. And I'm just gonna scatter all these wall blocks here, just some cool kind of like maybe like cuddly toys or some cushions, something like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scatter all these different colours in different places. Just here. Just like that. And then moving along, I'm gonna leave a gap of one. Then I'm going to add four smooth stone slabs. And I'm just going to leave half a gap between each of these. Just here. Then let's place some more on the end. Just there. And then moving around, let's place another four. Just there. I'm just going to leave one more gap. And I'm going to place another four. But then on top of here, I've got some custom heads here which are going to act as bowls. Just here. And then next to that, I'm going to add two pressure plates for some sort of plate design. Then and I'm going to go up to the third block and let's place another four stone slabs. And here, and I've got another custom head which look like wooden plates. All the links to these will be in the description. And then next to that, let's add some wooden pressure plates as well. Just there. Just for a little central bit here. From this point, I'm going to go down by three. I'm going to place one smooth slab and then another one. Then I'm going to place another one just either side that. And then two more on the right side. I'm just going to place these going all the way around. Just link it up. And then just fill that up. And then on top, let's add 12 grey carpet just on top. Just there. Okay, so I've got some more white wall. And let's just build up this final wall. Again, going all the way to the top. And just along this wall, I've got some more smooth stone slabs. And then from this point, I'm going to go across four just there. And I'm just going to place another three rows of four, leaving half a gap just there. I'm going to leave a gap. And then I'm going to place another four. And next up, I've got some cool custom like that Lego heads there. Let's just place these because I know IKEA has some custom cool Lego stuff there. And then we're just and then on this third block, let's add another three stone slabs there. With some more Lego blocks just on top there. And I'm just gonna leave another gap and then let's place another four stone slabs just there. And then let's place another three lots again, leaving half a gap. And then I'm just gonna place another three on this side. Just there. Then I'm gonna leave a gap and I'm gonna place four, then another four on the third block. And then on top of these got some different colored carpets and then I'm just going to then firstly on the bottom I'm going to place a gray one a black one a white and then a brown and then on top I'm going to add a yellow a white a gray and then a black there and then moving to this corner here so on this block firstly I'm going to place three gray banners next to that let's add three lime then let's add our three yellow and then finally our three red just there. And then going the opposite side, on this block just here, I'm going to place three light blue. Let's add three normal blues, three purple, and then three pink. And oh, that cave sound just scared me. And then just moving to this wall here. So from this block, I'm going to place another four. And then again, just building these up another three times, half frame between, just there for some more shelves. 
And then finally, for our little central bit, from this point, I'm going to go across so it's four. And then on the fifth block, I'm going to place four going across. And then I'm just going to follow this around. Fill that in. Just double this up, make it one full block. And then on top, this is add all the grey carpet. Just there. And then finally, just moving outwards here. From this point, I'm going to place some more stone slabs just to reach this point here. And again, I'm just going to build these up another three times, leaving half a gap. So just continue in that same shelf design. And then, just once more on this end, let's place another four and again build these up. Okay, and that is our viewing and shopping area all complete. And then moving to the back wall here, just in the corner, I'm going to add one cauldron and then three oak leaves just on top of that. And then next up with some light grey wall, starting from this block, I'm going to go across two. And then on the third one, place one there. And then I'm just going to go across another five, just there, and build it up by one more. Then on top of that, I'm going to add six yellow, and then finally some more grey wall on top of that. And then moving to the left, I'm going to add another two yellow there, and then four wall there, two more on top, and then finally... One grey ball there, another yellow, and another two grey. Just there. And that's just going to add another little cool painting design. And next up for the chopping trolley area. So firstly, starting from here, I'm going to place three glass panes just there. Leaving a gap of two, placing another one. Another gap of two, placing one. And then another gap of two. And just keep going until I reach this point here. And on top of these panes, I'm just going to add three white carpets. And for the story designs, I'm going to add just three rails just in between each of these spaces. Then I'm just going to place one minecart on each of these. And then I'm going to place one gate just opened just in front of all of these. And that will give us our cool little trolley area just there. So now let's add some lights here. So firstly, just I'm just going to light up each kitchen area. So I know maybe from like this block, I'm just going to look up. I'm just going to place two birch fences there, one glowstone, and I'm just going to put trap doors all around it, and then just like that. And let's do the same on the other side. So again, I might just look up from maybe, let's say this point here. Just look up and place another two. And then let's just add more light this here. So I'm just going to do one light per room, maybe two, depending on how big the room is. So maybe from this point here to add another light. Maybe in this corner, another one. And then maybe from this point to add another one. So yeah, just kind of randomly scattering these lights all around. And then just in this main bit, so starting from this block here next to the, next to the skylight, I'm going to place two birch fences just there. I'm just going to align these with all the skylights, just going across just here. And I'm just going to do this every five blocks. And then just underneath each fence post, just going to add some more glowstone.
And now let's add the final finishing touch to our build here. So starting from this point here, I've got some oak leaves. And I'm just going to place seven from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then from this point, let's go across five. And then from this point, let's just build all the way across. Till we reach. this point just here and that creates a nice little bush for the front of our store here and that is our ikea all complete so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i know it was quite a long one but hopefully the end result was worth it but yeah so thanks for watching and have a good day